Good morning, my friends, and welcome back to the Wasteland, where last time we successfully defended against the Horde, but at great cost, because we lost one of our companions during the fight. So that puts us a man down with a lot of cleanup work, renovation, and strengthening of the base to do throughout the next week. Now, the first task here is gonna be, well, <laughs> I'm just reminded that I have a sprained leg, radiation poisoning, and fatigue. Luckily, I did square myself away with some first aid over here. Splint, vitamins, and a freshly brewed batch of rad be gone. And for better or for worse, I'm gonna go through all of the corpses that are in the pit here. I don't know if I'm gonna go through every corpse that's around the entire compound here because that could take all day just luckily i have this power armor helmet to filter out the smell down here because i can imagine it's awful same idea top side and i'll start kind of chopping them up as i go along i guess we could use the nitrate powder the bones and the rotten flesh not so much mostly just trying to clean up the area so i don't have to look at this mess okay so I'm, i've just encumbered myself or i've just filled up the the backpack with the stuff here so let's go through it for a second i did make 1300 in old cash i had 20k dukes on me already so i made 1900 dukes a couple of magazines to read there customized fittings mod schematic and check this out i found an awesome sauce in one of the piles there so that, that was a shocking yet welcome discovery and we do have an airdrop coming in however that's not your classic c-130 there that is a vertibird and there's the loot drop that's kind of happening close to where the casino is it looks like all right as for the rest of you down there and among them would be our companion rest in peace brother okay so inside the base we're going to be working on some cement i've smelted in a bunch of stone we're working on iron in this one and otherwise i think we're pretty much good to go we are on the hunt today for well we need like construction materials and things like that but uh for the most part we need magazines we need trap magazines we need electrician magazines and preferably tool magazines because we do have a lot of resource gathering to do and at this point i am at the point where i can craft the same level of tools that i have or at least you know the weakest link there i can do the level threes of iron but um if i could find an auger or find a pickaxe even uh, i'd be really satisfied with today so let's hop in the vehicle here, check the condition on it. Well, 2% gas. <laughs> we gotta fuel it up at least. Oh, I still can't make the gasoline. Come on, I'm one thing short and I only have 380 gas, so we're not going very far today, <laughs> it would appear. We'll grab a quest from Johnny, I guess, and see, uh, well, maybe he's selling us a vehicle adventure book, in which case we'll come right back and craft some gasoline. But um, yeah, we're gonna be pretty much staying in the local cluster here today, I think. All right, we'll check on Johnny first thing this morning. He should probably have a quest for us. And he should also have a new inventory selection. So, oh, there is our vehicle adventure book right there, magazine. And anything else there that we need? Explosives, shotguns? No, I think I'm good on those. Yes, yeah, actually, wiring traps, electrical traps. All in all, money well spent. And we do already have a job from Johnny. Oh, right, because that's a buried supplies and it's just up to the north there. Okay, so here's the plan. I'll go to the base real quick. I will get some gasoline crafting at the chem station and then I'll just walk my way over to the buried supplies and we'll dig those up. And here we are. Not like we had very far to go. All right, let's dig this up. We need some clay soil anyway. And here we go. Buried food stash. Didn't have a single spawn on me during that. So that was lucky, I suppose. And we do... Oh, rad cop. Uh, I don't want radiation poisoning again. Whoa! Ah, no, it happened. Oh, direct hit there. What was with that? That was like five. Ooh. Wow. Lumberjack took one for the team here. There we go. Holy cow, man. You'd think a buried supplies would be a little bit less dangerous than that, but all right, we made it unscathed. We're good to go. Well, you know, slightly scathed, but not radiated at least. All right, I was able to get something like, oh, should we like poke in here and get some loot while we're right here? Ooh, what is this place anyway? Ah, okay. Be careful. I thought this was uh, a place that looks similar to this, but this is something entirely new. Right, well, heavily fortified as well. We've got iron doors and iron spikes defending them. The windows are all boarded up. Whoop! Oh, oh, this could be a, a, a raider compound here. I can hear them. I can hear some chatter. Are they inside? Yeah, there's some weights in there. Weights, treadmill. Oh, this is like a barracks. And we are all alone here. All right, well, I got the scar just for... 
occasions. Oh, here they are. Ah, I don't have anything to throw at them. I wish I had a Molotov or something. Here, let's just, um... Oh, these are melee guys, so I might be able to just crack this open and then crack their skulls open after that. Look at this! All right, we're gonna just pour some lead in there. That should sort them all out. And I think we're all clear, at least for this portion here. That was like five bandits. No, I can still hear one complaining. All right, there must be another way to get in here because that, that area there is too fortified. This area here is too fortified. How do I get in here? How are the raiders getting in here? One more here at the window. Tough one too, man. I shot that guy a lot. He's wearing some kind of an iron armor setup. Oh, and now they're pouring out of the balcony here. Dead and dead. Okay, is that... That might be how I gotta get in here. Oh my god, another one up here. All right, took care of that guy. Man, we're gonna be low on 556 five, after this. I gotta find a way to get in here. Yeah, I'm gonna go up the rubble in the back here. Oh, here we go. Okay, this area in the back looks to be a little bit less well defended. Ah, uh, yep, I can see him behind there. And I don't see that they have any weapons either, so... Let's see if I can crack in here. Here we go. That guy over there definitely has a shotgun though, so careful turning this corner. There we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, the guys with the guns have come out to play. Dead, and I guess the guys with the guns are dead too. Nope, there he is right there. Yeah, we've got to start rolling with grenades or something, especially if we're going to be assaulting bandit fortresses like this. Man, they've got quite a bit of armor too, but oh, that was like, that was like 10 kills there. Wow, massacre. Okay, let's see what they're defending in here. We've uh, entered into their break room, it looks like, where they have some food and some cooking books. Okay, and some bookshelves over here. Should be good for something. Tool magazines, shotgun magazines, trap magazines, the usual stuff. Okay, what else are we looking at here? Okay, that's the front door. We've cleared out at least a part of the basement. More books over here. Door to the basement is locked. I guess I could try to pick my way through some of these if worse comes to worse. Ooh, the attic. <laughs> I don't suppose the raiders are hiding in the closet. They're not zombies. Okay, bathroom's clear. Other bathroom here is clear. Okay, let's head down this way. We also have the attic to clear. I don't see anyone. I don't hear anyone. Yeah, this is the gym that we saw. Oh yes, a little hidden spot back here. Hidden stash here, one magazine. I think that's the third hidden stash I've found that just had one single magazine in it. Kind of frustrating. Also, wooden clubs at this stage, very frustrating. Okay, basement is clear. There's the garage portion, I guess, that we entered into before that might not be completely clear. Haven't made it in there yet. This is the attic, which is definitely not clear. Yeah, we got took two or three. Oh, let's just get downstairs a little bit. Not sure if those guys are armed with firearms or with melee weapons. Okay, Oop. they're starting to pour down a little. Quick reload in and yeah, oh, they're in bad position there. I've got the low ground. Wow, massacre. And my experience so far has been that they're really not worth searching. Oh, look at this guy hanging out here. Okay, I think we're good. Did they have any good loot stored up here or is this kind of a bust? Yeah, I got a vault tech container here. That's good for, oh, not much. Weapons of tomorrow, I guess. And some first aid over here, some Savage Country boxes. Maybe the good loot is either in like a basement area or it's in the garage that we kind of encountered first. Well, there is another vault tech container up here, which has, oh, like the same thing as the last one, the Weapons of Tomorrow book. Okay, all clear in the attic. We're just heading down to a potential basement and or the garage. Had a bad string of luck there with a the lockpick, so I had to break through that door and, oh, here we go. Here's some good loot down here. Yeah, and I think this door just went out to the back. So, yep, no enemies in here. We're clear to loot up. And I think that's the last container that's down here. So that gives us two more into energy weapons crafting skill. Okay, not what I was hoping for, but I'll take it nonetheless. I, th I seem to be just finding the energy weapons at a rate in which, um, you know, crafting's just not gonna catch up to that at this point. All right, we'll head out the same way that we initially came through here, and we're walking home, because we don't have the vehicle yet. All clear. So it must have been like a little raider outpost that's kind of like just off site from the castle there, a little FOB. Fair enough, let's go get our quest reward. Go Hello, say, Johnny. Today you. we're gonna take, I well, suppose, the 10 water and everything else as well. I mean, antibiotics, I can make those at this point, so no big deal. 
And, oh, here we go. <laughs> Finally, we're done with the tier ones. Take the water filters. Special jobs to the Take north. That would be Trader be Borg. Okay. And a new job will have to wait until tomorrow. We can get into the tier twos, which is fine because I have a good nighttime activity for us. All right, let's get a couple of new dew collectors crafted with the water filters we got. And I got, yeah, just a smattering of magazines here. Probably nothing special going to be unlocked. Well, I did get level four iron tools and we were just kind of talking about that. So let's see if I can get a better pickaxe and I'll start working on about 50 extra lock picks after that okay nighttime activity time okay here we go it's getting late anyway so we don't want to be out and about kind of all by our lonesome or even just with one companion with us let's get this pulled around and get the headlights on for it so we have a little bit of extra light for this activity oh just nicked that back fence there I keep meaning to burn that thing to the ground here we go nice and illuminated I'm just gonna carve out where the next Next pit will be the pit on this side because yeah definitely we need to have multiple fighting positions here and we need a way to to regulate them so we'll get to the regulation part later for now we're just going to get to the resource gathering and excavation part i'm just going to start by kind of comparing one side to the other we'll get this all framed up measure twice cut once although if we do make mistakes probably not too big of a deal because all of this is going to be removed all this like top layer of destroyed stone We'll get removed eventually and replaced with concrete. Although I've been surprised, the last horde, I don't know if we just didn't have very many cops or what, but the pit really didn't take any damage. I don't think we had many, if any, explosions all night long. Okay, now that I have the pit framed out, we're gonna dig it down to the stone layer, just like we did on the other side, and I'll just collapse out the middle. We could use the resources, but you can get better bang for your buck harvesting just raw stone anyway, so not too concerned about losing all this filler material in the middle. Okay, there it is. And with all that collapsing, I would be surprised if we didn't call in a screamer. Just have a peek around here. We got some crawlers. We got some glowing drowned zombies. We got a feral off in the distance there. Careful not to shoot because they will all come sprinting over if I do. I thought momentarily about connecting the two pits and just having like big beefy central support columns here, but I figured giving zombies 360 degree access to my supports probably less wise than just cutting off the trench right here and over here in the corner of this new pit i did find a little bit of iron which is interesting we can't do any mining there because we have other plans for this area but i should actually make the staircase or the ramp out of here in case anybody gets stuck something like that should do for now <laughs> every time i walk past that hubcap i think it's a landmine so let's just uh, take care of that once and for all okay so we're done with it's the some of the demo work, I guess. That's all I really needed to do for mining. Whoa! Hello there. Yep, these guys have wandered in after all. I just cleaned this area up. Now we got a bunch of bodies around here again. Really wish I didn't have to do this every single time. Oh, 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 look at this. It's a horde. I could see some zombies running around over there, and I was like, who the heck is sprinting around here in the middle of the night? It's this group right here running around. All right, time for some midnight mayhem around here. And there we go. Luckily, these hordes are pretty light on rads and ferals. And is that what I think it is over there? It's a wild crawling demo of all things. Wow. Oh, wouldn't it be cool to kind of try to lure him in to, to the, the castle there and like blow a big hole in it? It's okay, he's quite slow. If we get too close though, yep, yep, we're gonna take fire if we get too close for sure. Yet yeah, these guys don't sleep. They're, they have people on guard duty all night long. Yep, yep. Ow, oh, taking some fire there. Okay, can I turn and set that demo off or no? That kind of demo is guarded against uh, being struck in the button, it seems. Okay, now I'm drawing in a lot of attention here. Uh-oh, yep. Nope, things got crazy. Oh, what did we say about shooting guns in the wasteland? I made a mistake. All right, I can't have you blowing up this close to my base here. Oh, geez. Okay, demo's hitting hard. This was a really bad plan after all. I mean... It sounded bad from the start, and it's just getting worse as I go along. I think it's time to probably cut my losses here. 
and see if I can get out of range of all of these zombies. Yeah, if I just sprint, I'm gonna just sprint over to the mutant behemoth layer over here and do some stone harvesting anyway if I can, if I can escape the aggro range of all of these guys. Look at all these guys just hanging on the guardrail. Jeez, it's like a zombie circus today. <laughs> yeah, they're still shooting in the distance. Well, if anything, I have occupied some of the raiders over there. All right, I'm gonna get a little bit of stone and then I'll meet you back at the base for breakfast in a little bit. Okay, a scorpion omelette for breakfast, it appears, and I just got the cobblestone cubes because we need to come in here and shore up the base. So, we made, I made a couple of mistakes last time in that uh, the first mistake was, let's see, during the fight we had a block like so, and then another one like so, but the mistake I made was that there's supposed to also be a buffer block that's out there the first to fall, and my emergency failsafe block that I put down, I put right here, which wasn't connected to anything except for the block that it was meant to be protecting or, you know, guarding against uh, it, if it were to break. So, if I were to redo this, let's just do it out of regular shapes here. So it would look like this, there would need to be something supporting it, like that. Do we still have fighting going on? Around here? Ah! No! The vehicle! Oh no! No, no, no! Get away from it! Okay, they haven't done much damage. I did more damage hitting the fence than that guy did. <laughs> That's just how it goes, isn't it? Yeah, let's take care of this guy. How did you even get a shot? Oh, yeah, you got a pretty good angle from over there. Stop shooting the base, please. I can see the ricochets there. Whoop! That guy's not dead. He's dead now, though. Okay, what was... We <laughs> What was going on there a second ago? Right, we're working on the fighting position. Before I get too carried away though, we've got to figure out another way to get into the base. In fact, that's what I'm gonna do after we shore up the fighting position here, because I'm sick of doing the A-frame crawl. Right, so all along, I've been wanting to take these blocks out. I have the new pickaxe as well, so we can actually hopefully do this a little bit more efficiently. New lock picks and a bundle of shotgun shells as well, so we sh should be doing pretty well on uh, those materials for a while. All right, there we go. We're up to three mod slots now on the pickaxe, which makes a big difference. Okay, we need to take some of these things out. And there you have it. That's what I really wanted for a fighting position all along. The only thing this does is that it doesn't allow us to do the emergency failsafe block like we did before. I mean, you, you could do it. It would just be kind of floating there a little bit unless you put some supports in there for it. But really, the function of this is that I can get in closer here now. I can kind of squeeze into this little narrow opening and I can kind of see what's going on better. I can get up in the face of the zombies better. And I now have a three by three block space area here, which is open and I could put a garage door in there or, you know, potentially I could in case things are getting really hot, just close the door and, you know, try to figure something else out from there. I mean, ultimately what we need to do is we need to get the automated vault doors and uh, we need to knock out that block and that block and have a door on its face right off of that square shape right there and on a switch in here so that we could turn off traffic if we needed to okay so what needs to happen here is we're taking the rail off again i'm gonna replace the block that we lost here of course and then we're gonna go one further we're gonna copy that wedge 60 tip there and that's already in the right rotation so we'll do two more like that then we're going to go back to the catwalk rails and put them at the end like so. And for this portion over here, I've had some thoughts that perhaps what we should do is we'll do this again. Copy shape, copy rotation, copy shape, copy rotation and put that in. And then we're going to do square shapes here. Yeah, just just kind of double checking here i think this is gonna work and then we gotta go around to the outside because from here what we need to do is two more cubes like so and then we're gonna do the wedge 60s there and then the tips here so whoops not there same configuration basically that we've been doing that's just just gonna like it's gonna create more of a cubby i guess for our companions so that they're, they'll have more of a narrow field of fire but they'll be much more defended against any sort of explosion that might happen here that could potentially knock them out of the base or just injure them. Just take that mistake block off of there. And the other thing this is going to do is it's going to give us 
a, a way to put a blade trap in. Think of that block right there that I just put in this one as the center of a blade trap. And so, yeah, we've got clear perimeter all the way around it. So that would be pretty brutal, huh? To have a zombie stuffed up in here, getting shot from that direction by me and probably already weakened by being shot from our companions on the way up. And then if they get pushed left or right, it's straight into a blade trap. I'll even do you one better here. And we could, we could set up a system for an electric fence post. Actually, I think that's a really good idea because that would lock whatever zombie is in the front. If we could just position a fence post, perhaps. Is that going to be right? Yeah, coming off of this. Okay, so then if we kind of simulate what an electric fence is going to look like, it's going to be centered right here. And then we'll have two more on this side. And so when you string a line across, because the, the connection is kind of in the middle here, so it'll connect from the middle and it'll go straight through and it'll probably line up somewhere in between the buffer zone and the, the actual the back end here so that the front zombie will be stun locked at all times and we can easily come around and repair that. And then the blade trap, we should be able to repair from here as well, at least so long as they are in one piece. Okay, but then there's also the question of getting in and out. We said we were gonna work on that. We're gonna just do a centered hole in the bottom of the base. What does that open me up to? Just to the bottom, so that's probably gonna be perfect. We'll just put one of these skinny ladders in for now until, until right there, I mean, zombies can't reach up to that I don't think what well, <laughs> I can hit my head on it which kind of concerns me but no I can't they're not gonna jump and climb onto that not in a million years so we can take up this temporary one here and I'll fix the rail that's on the side there yeah that's not that's not too bad I was thinking that something coming off of the middle there would just obstruct the aesthetic but you gotta have some function to your base as well and I'll get a hatch or something to put over this so we so that we don't fall through but then are we gonna get spit on from below there? I don't think so. Uh, most of the zombies are gonna be out front over there, hopefully. Okay, I've been crafting some blocks, so I'm just gonna repeat the same procedure that we just did, and we're gonna do it um, on the other side there so that things are symmetrical for tonight. While I'm down here, I'll fix up the ramp a little bit. Things actually held up rather well. I thought this side over here was gonna be destroyed again for the second straight horde night, but nope, that side held up really well. We do need to um, do a better job here with the, the guard plates on the outside. Maybe there's a new, I was trying to think of a new design that we could do here, like something that that uses the same angles that we've been using elsewhere in the base. So I was thinking something that kind of like started here, like, but um, you know, pointed up in that direction there and just kind of just ended out in the middle of nowhere. So it would be like a big W, like coming down from that end, up to the middle, down, and then up again, and that would kind of shield the sides of the ramp there. We'll get to that later in the week. For now though, this side over here is looking A-OK. -okay. We'll have to do a, a huge pass around here with concrete. In fact, I'm trying to get to a place here in the near future where all of our building is just straight to concrete, but we're just not there yet. And we still have to replicate this whole thing on that side, but I'm only going to do that once we can do it all out of concrete. I don't want to do a big pass with cobblestone and then another big pass with concrete after that. All right, I'm all kitted up and I'm ready to go. Let's just drop in. Oh, this should be fine because this is actually going to be connected to the stairways on the side. We just want it in the, the right orientation like that. Okay, so that is good. That is the permanent way in and out of the base. I think we're all set up here. I've got uh, our companion with us for the mission today, which... I don't know. What are we doing today? We got to go check on the tier twos from Johnny. Oops. After we go get the fuel. <laughs> 1%. So I used all of the oil shale we had for 2,500 gasoline. That sounds like not a lot. That's probably not even a half tank. Probably not even a quarter tank. It is exactly a quarter tank. And just <laughs> starting the engine ate 1% fuel. Lovely. All right. So we're still on the hunt for vehicles to wrench and yeah, we really need to go to the desert biome, don't we? We've got to get oil shale. This thing is a gas guzzler. Well, let's get a job first here. Northwest infested clear, usually good for ammo, but honestly, I'm pretty good on ammo. We could do the fetching clear to the north. 
at the Broken Dreams house. To the north? Okay. That is probably snow biome stuff. Oh, that's not too far away. Yeah, we could do that. We'll probably do the infested clear after we're done with it. Yes, here we go. The house of Broken Dreams. I know this place relatively well. I did a big renovation project here once. All right, I don't think that we need reinforcements for this. I think I'll proceed solo. Tools digest there, blue sedan here. Not much inside, take the fuel. And let's proceed here. Quest marker is around back. Let's hit it. We can probably hit up the car again on the way out. All right, what do we get into here? Probably rads. So yeah, let's just have a weapon out. There we go. Oh, there's the supply satchel. That was handy. Right off the bat there, that's out of the way. Still got to clear zombies though, so we're kind of hunting every nook and cranny here. Hello there. Where did you even come from? Did I, did I walk right by you in here? <laughs> that's ridiculous. Whoa, there we go. I found him. Oh, got an, a, a crawling red biker as well in the back. Oh, can we get some headshots here? There we go. Do not let him blow up in here. Highly flammable. He had some nuclear material inside of him. Good for the rad be gone. This guy's never gonna die. We're gonna be here all day. <laughs> there we go. He has, ooh, a treasure map. Yeah, the rads definitely are worth searching. And the feral in here. We'll find out if he's worth searching as well. Mm, kind of, not really. Six oil, kind of a weird thing to have. All right, we could go downstairs or we could check the attic. I think we gotta check the attic here and see what's going on up here. Oh, a dog in the attic, what the heck? And right, that just goes down through here. Okay, we are done with this level. We're on to level one and we've got the basement to follow. Oh, there's a lot of zombies here. <laughs> Hiding behind the couch, you sneaky bastard. Couple in the garage here. These must have been the movers. And one more in the kitchen, trying to break through the double doors. Another sleepy businessman back here. Do you have six oil on you or no? More money, that's more like it, right? Businessman was a high roller. All right, this should be the end here. Just, oh yes. Try not to shoot the, um, <laughs> the loot back there. That would be nice. Ow. And back to the guns. Jeez, this guy just tanked like, oh, like 25 rounds to his chest. All right, nothing good on the bodies here, it looks like. On to the main loot then. Main chest, not much. And I don't expect very much to be in the rest of this either, but I'll take it anyway. Okay, all done here. We could probably scrape a couple of pallets of clay and stuff out of here, and there's other knickknacks I can go through. I'll meet you back at the truck though. Yeah, I found a couple of extra books and magazines, but nothing special. All right, stash it all in here for now and we'll just read whatever we got there. That was big hitters, tools, and scrapping. Okay, on to get our quest reward. All right, let's snag up that reward and I'll also grab the infested clear, which I think was Northwest, so could be same part of town. And we'll take the, what is this? Charismatic Nature Volume 1. Allies will gain 20% health and stamina when they're near you, and they will also slowly regen their health. Well, of all the things here, that probably would be the most useful to me. And your next job infested clear, yeah, that was Northwest at Bose Market. Good deal. Bose Market, man. We just did that, didn't we? This is the other Bose Market though. It was a chain store. All right, I'll meet you over there. Yes, okay, this is the one. Just, we gotta be extra careful here. This is our first infestation in a long time. So, first up, we're gonna lock and load. We got plenty of ammo, we're good. Okay, let's just blow through this place. Hopefully no major drama. All right, ooh, five, whoa, hi there, Bo. <laughs> just get waving at me from the side there. I do have five skill points to spend and I'm gonna go ahead and spend them before we go upstairs here because there's one thing that we could do. Could go straight into level five Pummel Pete. <laughs> I'm sure there's some, there's uh, much more utility in going into other things. You know what I'll do though? I'll do advanced engineering. That'll help us get the trap books and such that we need. We'll go ahead and do two points into that. And that'll help us even more once we get to Horde Knight because we'll get some more XP out of the trap kills. All right, who's, who's in here? And, oh, would you all mind just coming downstairs for me? We'll do this fight over here somewhere. Flawless victory, how do you like that? Who needs level five, Pummel Pete? Okay, here we go, main loot, good for nothing. Why do I even bother these days? Electronics box here, that had something that we needed. And the infested cache in the back is, what is that? A smooth bore barrel for the incinerator that smooths the inside of the barrel to allow the projectiles to fly fire with more velocity. 
we're looking for an incinerator now. Okay, otherwise, we're good. And the quest reward for that was gonna be... I... Oof, steel would be nice. But I'll take the crafting skill magazine bundle. We're really close to unlocking the crucible anyway. And I will hold off on a new job because I don't want to do any of those. What we do need to do, though... Let's open up that bundle first and see what we got there. Hey, forge ahead. That gets us up to 71. I think, what do we need? 75 for the crucible. We just unlocked iron tools quality five. So I'll have to go through and craft all of my tools again tonight. And we could do lever action quality three now. So that's the same as what we have. We need fuel though. It's getting really bad and I am sick of wrenching cars. There's just nothing that we need out of cars except for fuel. So if I was a desert biome, where would I be? I'd probably would be to the south. I think we should probably offload our materials and just go on a long expedition and explore the map. And we'll just kind of wrench cars along the way for whatever fuel we need and just keep our fingers crossed that we find a desert. All right, I've packed food and drink, repair kits. We've got ammo. I think we're good to go. Let's go for a little bit of a ride today. We just need to figure out what direction we're going and how we're going to get there. So we're heading south, but I don't know of any main road that kind of leads south. So we'll have to go straight through town, which will give us a good opportunity to wrench some cars along the way and stock up on fuel a little bit. And for the sake of fuel efficiency, I'm going to drive pretty much as slow as I possibly can. All right, quickly now, we're going to grab this airdrop here. Uh, if we can, no, we can't do it quickly. We're going to have to fight. Okay, all clear. Let's grab this up before we get caught by some raiders or something. Okay, actually really good stuff there. That magazine bundle was good for heavy weapons, tools, and knife guy. That power armor mods bundle, oh, was good for power armor reinforced plating, power armor knuckles, and power armor radar. Okay then, well, let's put all of that on. Put the radar on the helmet. That is going to... Show nearby enemies on the compass. Power armor knuckles will go onto the glove armor and it causes enemies to bleed. I'm not sure if I need to punch or what that's what the case is there. And the reinforced plating reduces damage taken. So in that case, well, we already have tempered a tempered plating mod. I could probably put that onto something else though. Yeah, let's drop that onto the boots and take off the improved fittings mod. Nice, that was a good little find there. Okay, so with that out of the way, we're pretty much to uncharted territory. I'm gonna see if I can link up with the main road and wrench cars all along the way. Oh my God. Okay, I have I think I've just found an actual working motorcycle. It's right over there. Wow. Come on, man, leave me alone. No. No, oh, where did all of you guys come from? Why? Why is the wasteland so full of zombies? Would you all just decay in the radiation? Okay, so there's nothing I can do though. I can't. Well, it's fully fueled. Wow. So there's that. Okay, so in that case, I'd have to leave the truck here for a while. Hmm. Okay, where are we now? We just, I made it to the bottom of town and then I'm about to loop my way back up because I don't see that there's a road kind of leading out of the southern boundary here. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll leave the truck here for a while, just on, on account of the fuel situation there. And we'll take the, the R75, guys, we finally got it after all this time. Should be a little bit easier on the fuel as well, so I don't mind kind of switching over for a little while. Okay, I have pushed as far west as I've ever pushed before. It's getting to the point where we've gone through multiple biomes to get where we are right now, and still no evidence of any sort of a desert area no mesas nothing in fact i think i'm whoa that doesn't look like any fun over there so at this point i imagine we are in the territory of factions that we have not yet even encountered in fact i have traveled past some very interesting places and bandit settlements along the way we'll have to hit those up on the way home but really we have to press on until we find the desert so you all can just take a nap on the back seat here i'm gonna keep driving until i find something interesting and we'll pick things up a little bit later on this morning Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription, and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all, and goodbye.